So the CISSP exam, or the Certified Information Systems Security Professional Exam, is something that you should familiarize yourself with if you are a security enthusiast or somebody who's looking to make money off of cybersecurity. If you're a hacker, if you're a red team, or your blue team, you should be looking to get into this field. There are over 7,000 vacancies for CISSPs that are earning over $100,000. If you look on Indeed right now, 7,000 vacancies at $100,000 per year is over $700 million. It's close to a billion dollars of untapped income. Go on this journey with me, Hacker Black. I'm gonna jump into domain number six of the CISSP exam, which is security assessment and testing. We're gonna go over domain objectives, module objectives, we're going to look at some open source materials, and we're going to do some question and answers. Tap in. Domain 6. Security Assessment and Testing. Domain Objectives. Name primary methods for designing and validating test and audit strategies. Choose appropriate strategy to design and validate test and audit. Functions that support business requirements. Describe how to maintain logs related to security control testing and prepare logging systems for relevant review and protection. Classify the various security control testing techniques related to application development and delivery. Select the relevant security processing data administration that supports testing and assessment related to account management and process approval. Apply the appropriate security control testing techniques for use internally and externally for an organizational system. List essential elements of and differentiate between training and awareness that are aligned with organizational governance, compliance, policy, and capabilities. Recognize relevant procedures to protect sensitive information when utilizing test data. Define the process of a service provider audit. Associate the appropriate use of an audit type based upon the business support requirements. Domain Agenda Design and validate assessment test and audit strategies security control testing. Security process data Test output and generate report conduct or facilitate security audits domain review. Module 1. Design and validate assessment, test, and audit strategies. Module objectives. Name primary methods for designing and validating test and audit strategies. Choose appropriate strategy to design and validate test and audit functions that support business requirements. Internal. Testing accomplished from inside a network system. Designed to simulate insider threat. Carnegie Mellon University Software Engineering, CMUSA, list insider threat as a primary concern. External. Testing accomplished from outside of a network. Designed to simulate external adversary. External test performed first when doing both internal and external testing. Third party. Following are frequent reasons for justification of third party assessments. Meeting regulatory requirements. Increase assurance of service capabilities to clients. Support or augment internal teams. Module 2. Security control testing. Module objectives. Describe how to maintain logs related to security control testing and prepare logging systems for relevant review and protection. Classify the various security control testing techniques related to. Application development and delivery. Apply the appropriate security control testing techniques for use internally and externally for an organizational system. Vulnerability testing. Targets known threats. Determines path levels. Determines services that should not be enabled. Determines improperly configured systems. Penetration testing. Penetration testing identifies vulnerabilities often exploited by adversaries. Phases. Planning can be overt or covert discovery. Attack. Reporting. Log reviews. Identified as a primary component of log management. Logs are made consequential with reviews. Log reviews support audit function, forensic analysis, and internal and external investigations. Key logging practices. Organizational process standard for log management. Logs management should follow policies within organization related to generation, transmission, storage, analysis, and disposal. Provide adequate support for all staff with log management responsibilities. Log security. Secure log infrastructure should be created and maintained. Logging facilities should be protected from tampering and unauthorized access. Logs need to be protected from breaches of confidentiality and integrity. Synthetic transactions. Real user monitoring, 
RUM Web Monitoring captures analyzes every transaction of every user of website or application. Supports user experience monitoring. Synthetic performance monitoring. Agents or scripts emulate actions of a user. Can be used to verify performance as in SLAs. Code review and testing. Planning and design. Application and development. Testing techniques. Testing method considerations. Misuse or use case. Negative or positive testing. Interface testing. Module 3. Security process data. Module objectives. Select the relevant security processing data administration that supports testing and assessment related to account management and process approval. List essential elements of and differentiate between training and awareness that are aligned with organizational governance, compliance, policy, and capabilities. Account management. Assigning account managers for information systems accounts. Establishing conditions for group or role membership. Specifying authorized users of information systems. Requiring approval for authorizations, creating, enabling, modifying, disabling, and removing access. Management review and approval. ISO 27001-2013 outlines concerns for management reviews of an information system by stating. Top management shall review the organization's information security management system at planned intervals to ensure its continuing suitability, adequacy and effectiveness. Key performance and risk indicators. Committee of Sponsoring Organizations of the Treadway Commission, COSO, December 2010 report on how key risk indicators can sharpen focus on emerging risk states that. Key performance indicators, KPIs, typically shed insights about risk events that have already affected the organization. Key risk indicators, KRIs, typically help to better monitor potential future shifts in risk conditions or new emerging risks so that management and boards are able to more proactively identify potential impacts on the organization's portfolio of risks. Training and awareness. Roles to be involved and addressed. Executive management. Security personnel. System owners. System administrators and IT support personnel. Operational managers and system users. Module 4. Test output and generate report. Module objectives. 1. Recognize relevant procedures to protect sensitive information when utilizing test data. Protection of test data. Use of personally identifiable information, PII, should be avoided. Verify access controls and procedures are in place. When testing is completed, sensitive information should be completely erased. Logs should trace all copying of production data. Module 5. Conduct or facilitate security audits. Module objectives. Define the process of a service provider audit. Associate the appropriate use of an audit type based upon the business support requirements. Service Organization Control, SOC 2. SOC 3. The trust services principles and criteria are specifically defined for. Security. Availability. Confidentiality. Processing integrity. Privacy. SOC 1. SOC 1 reports require that a service organization describes its system and defines its control objectives and controls that are relevant to users' internal control over financial reporting. SOC 1 and 2. Type 1. Report on the fairness of the presentation of management's description of the service. Organization system and the suitability of the design of the controls to achieve the related control objectives included in the description as of a specified date. Type 2. Report on the fairness of the presentation of management's description of the service. Organization system and the suitability of the design and operating effectiveness of the controls to achieve the related control objectives included in the description throughout a specified period.